today we're gonna learn a type of tune that I haven't talked about yet which is long dance and basically long dance just means that people are dancing in a long chain but it doesn't give a lot of information about rhythm tempo or energy for the musicians because there are many many types of long dances and there are some that are fast and some that are slow and some that have different energy patterns the only thing they have in common is that at least from what I know they are all in 3-4 but outside of that it's a bit tune by tune it's different so the one we're gonna learn today is the long dance from Soleran and Soleran is an island in the middle of Silian which is a lake in the middle of Dalana and the Silian area in Dalana is considered as very traditional countryside music kind of and you have many different variants um, of polskas and different types of tunes and so on also beautiful folk costumes so Dalana is a very hot spot like a big hot spot of traditional stuff in general in Sweden and especially folk music and this specific tune and the dance that goes with it were kind of a big luck because there was no one who could remember how to dance this tune but one old woman and it's thanks to her that we know the choreography and in case you're no dancer and you don't know how it could be danced or whatever what it looks like just shortly it's a very simple dance but on the B part you have some kind of lift of the legs maybe you can see me if I better if I go there you have a lift like this and this is very clear also in the melody of the tune so we're gonna emphasize that in the B part now enough talking let's go play this tune beginner tunes because it's very simple pretty slow that would be a normal tempo although sometimes we do play it slower because we like to play it as the last tune before going to bed uh, but you might play it a little bit faster but a very tiny bit or actually slower depending on how you feel the dance can adapt quite a lot actually and despite its easiness and its slow tempo it's really good for studying how to put energy and emphasis on some notes so if you are a beginner but you want to practice your musicality and energy for the dance that's perfect so i'm just going a bit slower through the notes without ornaments and all And this tune is great because you can play open strings pretty much all the way through. B part. And this part is pretty much a scale from A going to G, F, E and E but with little decorations in between the notes and those notes of this scale I've just played this is when the dancers are doing this lift of the foot so that's where we want the, the weight so I'm gonna play it again and I'm gonna play the open A string at the same time to give a little more heaviness on those notes fetch my nickel herpa and we have got some uh, very curious cows so I hope they will stay at a distance and not come to actually eat the camera or something 
But well, on nickel harpa, you can definitely play the tune the same way as on fiddle, but you can do something that is really, really nice, and you can actually also do it on fiddle. It is octavizing, so playing one octave down. Usually I would always be saying like, try to climb up on your keyboard, that's a great exercise. But for this particular tune, especially if you're already an advanced player, that's not a big deal because it's easy and so on. And it sounds super nice in the lower octave, so... And it's a really good exercise for you to learn to octavize your tunes, especially if you play a four row nickel harpa, as I do, or a viola. Also, I have played this tune starting on an A on the fiddle, but I've also started this tune on a D. And here it's also possible to octave if you have fourth row or viola. So you have lots of possibilities and it's a very nice tune to play, for me at least, quietly, last tune of the evening and sometimes I like to play it even slower and slower towards the end so the dancer just slowly stop dancing and it's becoming very quiet and it's time to go to bed. So I hope you like this tune. As usual, if you like this content, please like, subscribe, share with your nerdy friends. Uh, think about the nice cows that are so enthusiastic about my music and be as enthusiastic as they are, apparently. And you can also support me on Patreon. I would be super grateful if you could do that. Thank you a lot to my Patreons. Thank you to all the people who support me. And thanks to you because you have watched this video till the end. And see you next time. Hey, doll!